Hello everyone, we will continue the topic data browser and in this video we will explore few more features of the data browser. Now this is our selection screen or input screen. Without going to output screen, we can simply simply check the number of entries which are matching with the input. Suppose simple example, as of now, I'm not giving any input. So whenever I will click on to number of entries button, so it will simply, simply give me the total number of entries of that table. Because I'm not going for any input, I'm not filtering the data based upon the input. So whenever I will not give any input, and simply click on to number of entries button. So it will show me the total number of records of that table. So total number of records in that table is 13. So if I will go to execute also, if I will go for execute, have you seen total number of records are 13. So without going to input, without going to output screen, from the input screen itself, you can check how many number of matching records are there based upon your input. Suppose simple example, I'm passing payment mode C. Now from here itself, I want to check how many matching records are there where the payment mode is C. So without clicking on to execute button, I can check from here itself. What are the number of entries where payment mode is C? Six. So total we have six entries in that table where the payment mode is C. I will go to execute and you can see all these six records has the payment mode C. So just always make a practice that you can use this input screen or selection screen first. Then you can go to output screen after that. Now, we will go for further more features. Now, in real projects, see, as of now, this table has 13 records. So it's not a problem at all. This real project always has billion trillions of data in one table. So at that time, okay, suppose we have a table which has billion trillion of data and I want to check some specific order number into that particular table. If I will simply, simply go to execute button, how much difficult it is for me to check that particular order number into those billion trillion of records. So always, always make a practice that you will use the selection screen or input screen to filter your data. That's why SCP gave the provision because if we will blindly go to output screen and we will try to find a particular record, we will not be able to find even. So always, always use the selection screen or input screen based because here you can pass the input and check the output of that particular record. Suppose I want to see the details of only order number one. Now just see, this is the low value of order number. This is called as low. This is called as high. This is called as multiple selection. So as of now, suppose I only want to see the details of single order number. So I put the input of order number, yes, into what? Low, low. I'm going to execute. You can see in the output, I'm only getting the details of order number one. So now. Now I will go to suppose I want to go for order number 1 to 10. I want to go for range of order number. So what is low value? Low value is 1. 
but is high value. High value is 10. Now I will simply, simply go to execute. You can see we are able to see the details of order number 1 to 10. So this is called as low. This is called as high. But is this the real projects? In real projects, sometimes we do not require range. We want to search the details of random number. Random numbers means what? I want to see the details of order number 1, then order number 7, then order number 15. Are they in range? They are not in range. If you go to 1 to 15, it will show 1 to 15. But you only want order number 1, order number 7, order number 15. Then in that case, how, how you will pass the random numbers? Simply, simply. You need to go for this multiple selection button. Go to this multiple selection button. Which order number you want to see? One. Which order number you want to see? Seven. Suppose I want to go for 15 then. So I am passing three order numbers. I will go to this copy button. Now whenever I will click on to this execute button. So on the output screen, I will only get the details of these three order number. And they are not in range. They are in random numbers. Now, now we will go for next thing. Suppose I want to go for order number 1 to 10, but I do not want to. I want to exclude order number 5. This is real, real projects. Sometimes you want to exclude also. So how you will go in that case? Suppose simple. We'll go for order number 1 to 10. Okay. I will just remove this single values. Now you want to go for exclude. You want to exclude single value. As of now, we want to exclude order number 5. So I will go to this button. And which order number you want to exclude? 5 order number. Go for copy. Now it will, okay. I will do it again. We are going for order number 1 to 10. Okay. Now I will simply, simply go for this button. Multiple selection. I will go for exclude single value. Have you seen in this particular tab, we are getting lower limit 1, high limit 10 because we passed, because we passed. You can directly click on to multiple selection button and pass here also. It's your wish. Now, which value we want to exclude? Suppose we want to exclude 5. We'll go to exit. Now, it will go for 1 to 10, but in between this, it will exclude 5. I will go to execute. Now you can see 1 to 10 is coming, but 5 is excluded. Now we can exclude the range also. Suppose I am deleting all this. I will delete this also. I will delete this also. I will go from the scratch. Suppose I am going for order number 1 to 10. In between this order number 1 to 10, I want to suppose exclude 4 to 6 order number. Yes, because sometimes we have a option, we want to exclude the range also. Previously, we excluded a single value. Now we will exclude the range. So we will simply go for exclude ranges now. What is our included range? 1 to 10. What is our excluded range? I will simply go for 4 to 6. I will go to execute. Now whenever I will click on to execute button, it will not show 4 to 6. Have you seen? 1 to 3 is there. 4 to 6 is not there. Then we have 7, 8, 9 and 10 is there. So always make a practice that you will use selection screen or input screen to filter your data. Never blindly go to output screen. 
otherwise it will become your task difficult now next most important thing and yes many people are not aware about that we can go for so many relational operator relational operator means you can go to less than you can use greater than you can use greater than equal to you can use not equal to we can use all those relational operator also while filtering the data suppose simple i do not want those order number where payment mode is c i want to check what are those order numbers where payment mode is not equal to c so never blindly go to output screen here itself we have a option double click just double click double click have you seen we are able to find so many operator so what we want to do we have not equal to less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to single value so many relational operator suppose i do not want to go for i want to go for not equal to where payment mode is not equal to c you can check also what are the number of entries where payment mode is not equal to c you can click on to number of entries so we have total seven entries where payment mode is not c it means it is other than c so i will simply simply go to execute and you can see whatever the records we are getting where payment mode is d n and blank payment mode is not c so you can use other things also suppose i will simply remove this filter now suppose i want to check those order numbers which are greater than 6 suppose i want to check how many orders are there in the table which are greater than 6 so i'll simply simply double click now i can go for greater than so for greater than 6 how many orders are there in this table if i will check the total seven orders are there which are greater than 6 so if i will go to execute you can see we have order number 7 to 7 8 9 10 11 12 15 so always use this all features because it will make your task easy to browse the data so what is the summary of the video in this video we studied that without going to output screen with the help of number of entries you can check how many number of matching entries are there based upon your input now never blindly go for output yes because it will make your task difficult to browse the data from that huge amount of data always use the selection screen or input screen to check the output of only to check the output based upon that particular input this is called as low this is called as high this is called as multiple selection if you want to go for single value pass here if you want to go for range pass here and here low and high if you want to go for excluding the values if you want to go for random values first you can pass the random values here if you want to go for exclude you can use exclude if you want to exclude the range you can exclude the range now we have a option to use the so many relational operator also just double click and choose those relational operator not equal to greater than suppose not equal to greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to you can use all these things to filter your data now in the next video we will explore more features of data browser so that's it this video thank you